I now pronounce you emperor and wife. Emperor Nero, you may kiss the bride. You lucky, lucky thing. He was the man who had everything. Land. Love you. Power. Naomi. Grapes. A lot of grapes. And the woman of his dreams. I love you, darling. I don't blame you. Then, one day, possibly while shopping for grapes... I'm not paying for these. My empire, my rules. Nero met the woman of his dreams. Yes, another one. Who is that? Do you want to go out with me? Won't your wife mind? Shouldn't think so. Do you mind? Yes, I mind. Hmm. You can never second-guess these things. But Nero was prepared to do anything to be with the woman he loved. No, no, the other one. Yeah, yeah, that one, there. I need a sign! Something to show that you love me now, not her! Right, well, something more than grapes, because I've got loads of grapes. There's something more than grapes? Right. Uh... This summer, one emperor will prove that love is a gift. Darling, it's just what I wanted. Your wife's severed head in a basket. Coming soon, the film that puts the Roman in romantic comedy. You would never cut off my head and put it in a basket, would you? Baby, of course not. <gasps> I'm gonna have you kicked to death. What? Shh, nothing. Love you to death. Based on a true story, rated unreasonable. It's horrible, but it's true. Emperor Nero really did have his wife's head cut off and sent to his new girlfriend. For next Valentine's Day, you might want to stick to flowers. Mm.